Welcome students. Let us see a very interesting question from the chapter probability. Question has been taken from NCRT book of class 12. Here question is a black and red dice are rolled. Find the conditional probability of obtaining a sum greater than 9 given that the black die resulted in a 5. Okay. So let us see the solution here. As we know, we use the formula probability of event E condition to another event F is equal to probability of E intersection F divided by probability of F. So first of all, here we need to find out probability of intersection of two events and probability of this event, second event. Okay. So first of all, let us try to get the value of simple space. What will be sample space? Since two dice are rolled, and as we know, one dice is having six faces, numbering one, two, three, four, five, six. Another the dice is also having six faces. So six into six, 36 possible outcomes is there. So these outcomes may be like this, one, 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 two, up to one, six. Then, 2, 1, 2, 2, up to 2, 6. Similarly, when we proceed, we'll get 6, 1, 6, 2, up to 6, 6. Okay. So in total, there will be 6 into 6, that is 36. So here, NS, this is equal to 36. Correct. Now, two events are here. Let us suppose that events are E and F. Event E, let us take sum greater than 9. Here, sum of these two digits, sum is greater than 9. Okay, so what are these elements? These are 4, 6, 6, 4. 5, 5, then 5, 6, 6, 5, and 6, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here we are getting number of elements in event E, N, E is equal to 6. Similarly, we can find out elements in event F also. So, F, the black die resulted in a 5. The black die resulted in a 5. So, let the numbers be like this. 5, 1, 5, 2, this also 6, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5 and 5, 6. So 6 elements are here. So therefore number of elements in this event F is equal to 6. So therefore probability of F is equal to NF divided by NS. NF is 6 and NS is 36. This is equal to 1 by 6. So we are getting the value of denominator PF is equal to 1 by 6. We have to find out numerator also, probability of E intersection F. So what is E intersection F here? Which elements will be common in E and F? So F has a condition that resulted in 5. So resulted in 5, it means we are getting here these two elements. 5, 5 and 5, 6 will be common in E and F. These are 5, 5 and 5, 6. Okay. So therefore we are getting here an E intersection F is equal to 2. So therefore probability of E intersection F is equal to N E intersection F divided by N S. So this is here 2 by 36, okay? 
2 by 36 this is equal to 1 by 18 correct So we are getting value of probability of E intersection F, this numerator also. So we can find out this probability very easily. Therefore, probability of E condition to F is equal to probability of E intersection F divided by probability of F. And probability of E intersection F is, we have calculated probability of E intersection F that is 1 by 18 so this is 1 by 18 divided by pf probability of f is 1 by 6 1 by 6 by simplifying it you are getting the answer 1 by 3 this is the answer correct very simple so hope you have got the solution question is very important so students remain in touch with this channel IQ Learning and get maximum benefit and share these videos with your friends also. If you have any doubt, problem, suggestion, write in the comment box. And you are really enjoying these videos. Your likes are most welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.